cancer, how you can deal with it while if you're diagnosed with cancer, or how to support someone with cancer since it's a heart heart disease and it's especially finding out you have it, it's hard to cope with. And also it can be a stressor not only for the patient themselves, but also the person surrounding them. Okay, what is cancer? Well, cancer is when the cells, some cells, part of the cells in the body start to divide constantly, but without stopping and can spread to the surrounding tissue. Um, the most common are like breast cancer, leukemia, or skin cancer and all that stuff. But people don't really, um, when you hear it, you don't really stop to think about, oh, what can I do to prevent it, or how can I find out more about it? You just hear like the multiple stories, like, oh, someone survived cancer, or someone died of it because of this. Um, some obvious um, to think so what is like tobacco use, which can lead to lung cancer, or poor nutrition if you um, don't have a poor, uh, well-balanced nutrition that can start leading to other diseases which can at one point lead to cancer or not necessarily cancer but other relating to it. Also exposure to UV rays or chemicals can harm the skin which can lead to skin cancer or other cancers. Like being in the sun without sunblock can highly um, expose you to UV rays and that can strictly um, get you closer to the chances of someone who has protection of with some block. Um, they're less likely to get skin cancer than the one who didn't protect himself by using some block. Ways you can prevent it also or diagnose is like learn about your medical history in your family. For example, if someone in your family has cancer or has had cancer, then it's most likely overrunning your genes and you might want to get that checked out because it's better to prevent it than to later on be like, oh, I could have done this to prevent it. Also, if you find like some weird changes in your skin or you feel start feeling pain, not necessarily will they mean you have cancer, but it's better to get it checked out than to be worse later on. Um, usually when they find for skin cancer, it can be changes in the skin or maybe like a mole that you don't think to pay much attention to until later on. They usually will run a, a lab test or a biopsy on it and they'll take like a piece of the tissue out of it and they'll run to see if it has can it's related to cancer or any other disease. Um, as mentioned before, having a balanced nutrition and avoiding the common use of tobacco or other, um, well, you know, other things like UV rays or chemicals can be a little bit closer to preventing us from cancer. Uh, some treatments that people get during cancer if if it's not surgical. Because if you have cancer and they can do surgery on it before anything happens, you can avoid all of these treatments like chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiation, targeted and other more therapies or transplantation. Then this then you can avoid all that all that drama which usually leads to other side effects which can affect you emotionally and physically. Um um, if the if the cancer is treatable, they usually will first start off with surgery by removing it if possible. But if not, they usually lead on to other ways before getting to all these treatments, which can harm you in another way. Also, um, common things when I've gone to the doctor, what I've read is for breast cancer. Usually, it's when for females usually to take the breast once in a while, like each month or some, often to check for a lump or anything odd that you wouldn't see common. For men, it'd usually be somewhere around the genitalia or something else, like if they'd find strings and they would go to check that out. Also, um, it's not always common, like, like if you feel like something like that, check it out, but it doesn't always lead to cancer. Um, some, exam some symptoms would be like fatigue, fever, or weight loss or other things, but um, it does. It's not always cancer. It's just it's better to be prevented than to regret it later on. Some side effects from chemotherapy or other ones. The comments are hair loss, fatigue, vomiting, or rashes or high blood pressure. It it affects people and the people would have gone through that. Um, 
also I had a neighbor who recently died of cancer and um, before like she would come out constantly to water her plants or to take care of her grandchildren but as it got later on to the process of her cancer being got got worse you would see her she wouldn't really want to talk or eat and she would be really skinny also her skin tone would like lighten and she looked like really tired and until one point she died it, her death was slow but it's painful and it's hard to see not just for the person itself who's going through it because I remember my mom told me that when she went she told her um she's like I don't even want to die I, I don't want to die this way it's really hard and her husband now um he's um alone and he's sometimes like just sitting outside alone like coping with it since she just recently died and it's hard especially if you've known that person for a long time even though it's not a close relative um ways you can support someone is not just that they can take them to group support there's support for that for them and also for yourself because it's not easy to cope with someone dealing with that it's really hard and it's mainly if it's closer to you and they want you to help them out with it or they want you to be close with them until it all ends it's there's a there's group supports for them and for yourself as well to know how to deal with it and how to help someone else also just being there and being close to them being like oh you can do this or don't worry we'll get through this and all that stuff can be easy ways to help some go through it and Usually people who are closely to help someone with cancer are friends, families, or relatives.